Hey guys, so today I was reading an article on Envision Blog, which is a great blog by the way. If you're a designer, I highly recommend that you check it out. But anyway, this this article by Joseph Todaro shows you how you can create this really nice diffuse drop shadow effect using Sketch. This is a really popular effect, and if you go to Dribble, you can see that a lot of people are incorporating this effect into their UIs. So after I tried this out in Sketch, and I liked the way that it looked, I got to thinking, how hard would it be to actually create this effect in CSS and HTML? It turns out that it's actually really easy to do and can be done with just one single HTML element. So enough talk, let's get coding. Okay, so if we look at this example on Dribble, uh, you'll see that we have this diffused drop shadow. Uh, it looks like it takes up roughly about 80 or 90 percent of the width of its parent element. And then in addition to having a gray drop shadow, you see that it also has this kind of orange glow overlaying on that shadow. So let's go ahead and try to recreate that effect uh, with HTML and CSS. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a div that will be our block element. And then we'll give that a class of block. So we'll say div.block, okay. And then we need to write the CSS for that. So, um, write our class block and then we'll give it a width of 80% that way we can make it responsive and it'll shrink and grow with the size of the browser and then for the height we'll say 600 pixels and then for the background let's try to match that color from that uh, design we saw on dribble so let me go ahead and copy this color in sketch okay and we'll put the uh, RGB value for that so that would be 223 105 78 okay great so we got that color now and then let's center this so we'll say margin auto Nice. Okay, so now let's create the drop shadow effect. So we'll, we'll do that using the after uh, pseudo element. So we'll say dot block, and then we'll say after. And then we need to specify content so something will show up, and we'll just leave that empty. And then we also want to display this as block. That way it will um, take the width of its parent, which is this block element here and then we'll say we want the width to be 80 percent because if you remember on the design here uh, you see that the shadow is roughly about 80 percent and then we need to give it a height as well so we'll say 100 pixels and then let's give it the shadow so box shadow and then we'll say we want it to be uh, 0 for the x offset and then 2 pixels for the uh, y offset and then for the blur we want it pretty blurry so let's say 100 pixels blur you'll see it's up here so another thing that we need to do is we also need to change the position of our block element to be relative and then for the uh, position on our pseudo element which has our shadow we'll say absolute and then we'll say bottom to be zero great and then uh, if we want to center this uh, we can't use the margin since this is the pseudo element so let's just say for the left we want it since this is 80 percent um, width of the parent let's say we want the uh, left offset to be 10 percent nice okay so now it's centered now the problem that we have here is it's actually sitting on top of our block element and we want it to be behind so we also have to say z index and then we'll set that to negative one and there you go okay so we have our basic effect here but um, 
I'm looking at this and I actually um, want a little bit more of a shadow so let's and I want to lighten it as well so I'm going to set this to 120 and then for the color I'm going to pick an RGBA value and I'll set that to about let's say 60 percent Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe 75. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, and we can we have our basic effect here, but if you notice on the design, they actually overlay this kind of glow effect, which matches the uh, color of the block element. So let's go ahead and do that. What we can do is we can chain our box shadows. So let's say we want basically we want to match this. but we want the color of our block element set that to 85 and let's actually lower this to 45 or maybe 65 and there you go. You see, as simple as that, you can create this effect in probably less than five minutes. It's really easy to do. And if we resize our browser, it gets bigger. We can. It's very responsive. So this would be a great effect if you have a bunch of thumbnail images in a gallery. Um, you could use it on a carousel, image carousel. Yeah, many different. You can use it for a, a modal. The use cases are endless. So hope you guys had fun with this. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And thank you very much for watching.